Yo, what's up guys, Grissom here. Gonna be doing a quick tutorial today on Big Reactors mod from whatever uh, mod pack you choose to be using that has this in it. So you're gonna need a few key things. You're gonna need reactor casing, reactor glass, reactor access port, Elorium fuel rod, reactor power tap, reactor control rod, reactor controller. Pause it right here if you guys need it. All right, let's go. So to build this, you're gonna need reactor casing. Smallest one that I'm showing you is that one right there. Three by three square. One thing to note while you're building this, whatever size, the outside shell has to be made of the reactor casing, all right? So that means that this part all around here has to be, the middle of it can be whatever you so desire. Like over here, it's glass, but the outside shell has to be made of this reactor casing or else it does not work as a multi-block structure. So plug your reactor controller in right there. Get your power tap. I On these three by three ones, I put it on the back. That's where you draw your power out from for whatever you're using it for. Reactor access port, one side. Reactor access port on the other side. Boom, put that down there. Then you got your Eulorium fuel rod right in the center. And top it off with your reactor control rod. Boom, multi-block structure. Now, these are passively cooled reactors. Keep that in mind. I'm gonna do an actively cooled reactor uh, video later. Over here is where you inject your fuel. So plop your Lorium right in there. On the other side, you want to make this side uh, your outlet mode. So that's where your cyanide's going to come out. That's a uh, waste product from the reactor after it, it runs for a while. Up top here, your reactor control rod. You can set it as like uh, it like notches down your reactor to whatever percentage wise. So if you don't need like fuel full capacity from your reactor, mess with that up there, and it'll tone down uh, how much power it cranks out. In here. Here's your interface, you got temperature, that's core temp, uh, how much power you're making per tick, so flux per tick, how much uh, fuel you're using up per tick, so that's millibuckets per tick, and the uh, fuel reactivity, so the higher that is, um, uh, reduces fuel burn up on it for you, and then your status is offline. So see here, we put in that Elorium in the uh, access port, 100% full, turn this thing online, watch it crank up here real quickly power is already coming through uh, I've got about 50,000 60,000 right now core heat core casing heat you see that rising that's pretty much it um what you need for this kind of stuff you're gonna need iron graphite bars um glass and I think like one diamond for the reactor controller, uh, or for the reactor controller. But you can look those up in your uh, item of plenty mod or whatever it is over here. So moving on to this bigger one, same concept. Shells made out of the reactor casing. All sides. You got your power tap, access ports set to input and output. Gray reactor controller right in the middle there. This glass I just put in the middle so it's cool so you can see what's inside here. You see uh, your Yellowium fuel rod right there in the center, fill it up with fuel. Reactor control rod on top. Check out the fuel heat in here. Only difference with this bigger one is you're cooling it with something. Now, it goes from different levels of cooling. You can use water, which is crap. I think the easiest thing to use is uh, destabilized redstone, especially when you're just starting off. To get destabilized redstone, let's go over here real quick. Boom, magna crucible. Plop one of those down, throw in your redstone block or red, just regular redstone dust. Once this thing has power, it goes into here, creates destabilized redstone, get it in the tank, put it in a bucket, fly back over. You don't have the top on yet, and start dumping it in so it's even all around. And there you go, you got coolant for your Eulorium fuel rod to make it. Now this thing right in here, um, throw it online, let it warm up a bit. Do 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 and you're gonna get a lot more flux per tick. We're jumping up to 15, I think it's stable as around 15, 20, 15, 30. So compare this one to, that was not on. This one over here, which maxed out at what, like 300 something for flux per tick. So just increasing it and adding that destabilized redstone is going to um, increase your fuel, uh, your energy output by a ton. And I mean, this is still extremely cool. We could probably, in this one, 
add a f maybe uh, fuel rods and different arrays. So there's different types, there's different styles of ways you can build these things. So it's going to be a lot of experimentation on efficiency. On the wiki, you can check out um, all like the formulas and such for finding out the best setup. Um, but these are your passively cooled reactors in a nutshell. So get at it, get mining, uh, get everything that you need for these things, and build away, guys. Hope you enjoy.